Hello and welcome to Dragon Morals. Link in the description to buy Dragon's Riders of Burke. Also note that I don't own anything from this episode or series. All rights are to DreamWorks. Fair use? What? What? What's that? As you fly through life. Starting off the episode with really nice music and Hiccup killing himself. <laughs> Also, hiccup narration. Nice catch, bud. Trusting Toothless. Hookfang <laughs> not realising that Snotlout jumped. <laughs> a bit of a small hole for, for a large dragon. A dragon and a huge obnoxious boy crashed through his roof. Twice. Well, that's... <laughs> That about sums it up. However, that is pretty bad lighting. I could barely see it. You might want to talk to him about his attitude. Hiccup with the sass. I don't know how to feel. Ugh. Oh, those are Zippo backtracks. You can tell by the half moon shape arches. Well, that's Dragon 101, guys. I don't gotta fill you in on that. Fishlicks beam nerdy. <laughs> How did Mildew destroy all those boots in time? You can see that every one of them are torn. Oh yeah, and oh, spoilers, but yeah, it's Mildew the, the whole time. Oh wow. Well, I mean, it's it's sort of fairly obvious. And they need us to keep an eye on them. And rest assured, we will do just that. Well, that echo comes out from nowhere. Ooh. Clever hiccup. Permission to shoot first and ask questions later. Permission to skip the question. It's not supposed to be fun. It's a hiccup idea. Exactly. What? And I'm with the Dragon United Monitoring Brigade. Dumb? Yes, that is correct. Not a big fan of this. The word dumb on the sash is better pulled off later. Let me take a closer look at that. Dumb. Well, that suits you. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Okay, what happened, Snot Loud? I like that Hiccup gets mildly frustrated. Who wasn't showing sufficient respect to the sash. I think I showed sufficient respect to a sash that says dumb. But that there, that, that there, sir, is, is a reused joke. So... But it is possible he wandered off for a few... Seconds? Minutes? Hours. Oh. Mildew's plan relied on coincidences. Like, what happens if Snotlout's dragon didn't actually leave his side at all during that night? Oh no, it's true. The Great Hall. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, Mildew, he, he, he is really overplaying this. A little bit of subtlety would be nice. My three weddings. Also, Mildew had three wives. No, good or bad, toothless, but an observation that was given to me on a silver plate. But still. Oh, the funerals. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He got way too much enjoyment from that, from from the thoughts of the funerals. Um. It makes me really uncomfortable. I understand that, that it's sort of technically a positive because that's what the writers want. But whatever, it's my show, my rules, so. <laughs> I just hope he understands that while a father does what's best for his son, a chief must do what's best for the village. That's quite a nice heartfelt moment with Stark. <laughs> Is this the only five dragons? <laughs> what happened to all the others? <laughs> usually works. Oh, Miglug's face is clipping through the ground. Medic! Watch it, fish legs. At least my dragon doesn't need a lullaby and a blankie. Actually... Again, with the lighting, I could barely see. Why did Tooth Toothless get up to investigate? There wasn't any noise or anything. Would have been nice if they added a slight sound. At 
was him. He set the armory on fire. Daddy. Toothless? Nothing really to say other than a really nice scene. Ooh. Drama. See what happens when you leave your dragon all alone to wait outside. What did you say? Nice set up with Hiccup being suspicious about what Mildew is saying. These dragons have done too much damage. It's no longer safe to have them on Berk. I want them gone. What? Finally! Yeah, Mildew, you... You're really not making this sound convincing when you scream. Finally! What are you talking about? It's over. Forget it. It's over. Yeah, forget it. This is another situation similar to the first episode where the they romanticize. Oh, it's over. It's no more dragons. When it's very clear to the audience that this is obviously not the end. I understand this is one of the few ways they would be able to have consequences for actions. But overall, it feels a bit meaningless, especially if they big it up a lot. Race to the Edge managed to have consequences without forcing a goodbye scene. But what I can remember, I could be wrong. Also, reasoning a plot point similar to the first episode. And what, we're only like five episodes in? Plenty of rocks if you get hungry. And don't eat any limestone. You know it doesn't agree with you. Be strong, buddy. I know you're gonna miss me. Okay. Despite what I just said about the good to buy between Hiccup and Toothless, it's quite effective. <laughs> Oh, fuck off <laughs> with that music. You know that piece makes me cry. Ugh. I think he did all of it. And I think he did it so my dad will get rid of all the dragons. How are you going to prove it? Okay, the, the music is nice. Oh, the old sweat dripping while suspending over a thing that you're avoiding. Is that cliche? I think it is. <laughs> Why didn't Mildew get rid of the evidence sooner? Once the dragons left, he could have just disposed of it. Also, he knew that Hiccup was going to fix his roof, and there would be a high chance that he was going to snoop. <laughs> Oh, it's a cliffhanger. Nice. Plus five. There was a strong beginning and a strong ending. Overall, this was a re another really good episode. I really struggled finding bad things about it. Mildred's motivation does make sense by trying to frame the dragons. Also, I appreciate that they did make it into a big twist as the audience became suspicious with Hiccup. Thank you for everyone who made who made this episode and series, and thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe for more episodes. Please, <laughs> please. Uh, 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 t t t t t t t t f.